What's your threat? Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Bellum's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. <laughs> Admire Geralt's equipment. And quick session of Witcher 3. What am I now? Level 12. Oh, it's that one. Okay. Got some low level stuff here. There's this one here, Racist. Miles away. Have to go to Crow's Perch. When someone offers you a contract, you can haggle for higher pay. Just be careful not to push too hard. Hey, yeah. Uh. Can we talk? Aye, long as it's short and to the point, because I don't wag me tongue for jollies. They call me Radko. I arrange the horse races here. You must have heard talk. Want to try? Say the word. Don't sod off. Sign me up. Want to sign up? Don't need no signing. Long as you're here, come sunset and bring gold for the betting. Sunset? Ah, oh, finally here. Rules are simple. Choose who you're going to run against, make your wager, then ride to Black Bow and back. First the winner, second the bleeding cunt. Got it? Right! So, who are you going to race? Stuttering Mama Matko, Iron Arse Hands, or Black Bogdan? I'll take Stuttering Matt. Yeah, 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 you'll sit, say, I'll, 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 Fuck it. Come on, let's set the wager and get racing. That's it, Roach. Master Witcher, help an old Nice. 
Nice, nice. You seem to know horses as well as you do monsters. Here's your gold. And if the urge to race again grabs you, come see me. All right. Who else is racing? Get here. You are to see racing, so. Racing subtle forty stamina. Better than the one I've got. Start looking at an invitation from Kira. Oh, I've got a quest here. Come on. Go, go. What's the quest area? Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Um. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. for additional information. Thank you. 
see you, Kira. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded, as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Suggest a request. This island that's cursed. Prepared to help after all? Uh. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Why well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. Oh, A real gentleman. Hmm. A mage lived on the island. We were friends. Yet even though... Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. All right. I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fy Kyle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikaia once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided Rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. So, where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the Elven Mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the Elves used them. Never heard of a Xenovox. 
It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. I'm off. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm hmm? Thank you. You have a new quest item. Oh, the lantern's already in. Magic lamp's already in there. It's got a tower full of mice. Go!
Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. How long you gonna make me wait?
Show me what you got. Let's try Kira's lamp. They're on to us. They're not letting Graham in. Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> We've no notion we he's coming to tear him to shreds. Waste clear, lads. Adam! Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie. Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie. M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So what? Uh, burning. Ah. What? No. No. Stay back. Don't leave me.
I'm overburdened. Damn it. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! The place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on... Just Geralt, stop. You needn't be so detailed. Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Oh, hell. 
rich folk. Dow will ever understand him. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let him out, maybe? Like to die of hunger if we leave him there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing him's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for him. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Enhanced curse one.
make a full moon, increases maximum vitality. Immediately restores a portion of vitality. I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. something across the floor, or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. 
These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich, believed we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What happened then? Fear. Terrible fear. I feared the men who approached, but I also feared the potion drinking it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... Couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. Who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. 
Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the island. It could be your blood ties to the land. The base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? He lives in the village on the lakeshore, yet... What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. Suppose I can make anything right now. Can make that. Don't fall.
and I save and I gotta go. So, see you next time.